now. See, 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 Vic, it's not just you that he makes of, fun of on game shows. A lot of your statements are gay. What's going as on? As a director, it's all voice actors. <laughs> all right, Amy, what have you got? Well, I think I'm, uh, I think this is now considered old school. I believe this is from Evangelion. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to think of something really loud. And the, <laughs> the first thing that came to my mind was Shenji. <laughs> now that could be taken a different way. The recording of Shinji looped over and over and over. I mustn't run away. I mustn't run away. I mustn't run away. Shut up! All right, Dave the Third. What have you got, sir? Well, uh, I'm older, older school than this, so I remember Reba West singing Min May songs. <laughs> All right, Neil Nadelman. And since Dave and I are from exactly the same generation, we always think the same thing about things that are unlistenable. I said Min May from Robotech, Robotech singing. <laughs> Which is what uh, which is what Erica had in the uh, Erica in the green room had also when I asked this question was Min May. All right, Vic, what have you got, sir? I've been told that uh, in the video game that this appears in, you can actually push a sequence of buttons to get it to play this over and over and over again, and it's quite annoying. And uh, if you were in the Ask an Anime character yesterday, you know the one word that I hate more than anything. Don't tell me you got it back there. I was going to even ask if you got it. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't think he has time to pull it up, but... Broly Kakarot! What's a Kakarot? <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more chance for Bazinga, Dave. Um, so, uh, actually, we're, we're blessed here to be on the, uh, on the panel here with Neil Nadelman, who is a, a scholar of some of the worst... Uh, worst cartoons ever made, as we see every Friday night, a totally lame anime. And uh, there's a lot of really annoying things in totally lame anime. The, the one, the, the audio that I find really the most annoying is the dog that shouted Blarg at the heart of the world. <laughs> 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 Honestly, I thought you were going to do that, Neil. I thought you were going to do that. But you went for the min main gag, which is old school. <laughs> I love first round questions, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and no one said Gundam style, so there we go. <laughs> All right, so, so nothing to nothing, and now we turn to you, Michael, and here we go. Now, I would assume that everyone on the panel, uh, at one point or another, has been a fan of the X-Men. Technically, it is an anime as well, so this counts as an anime match game question. Professor Xavier said, and I'm not going to do it as Patrick Stewart. <laughs> mutants get enough of a bad rap, but some mutants have powers that, well, to be honest, aren't particularly impressive. Someone enrolled the other day whose mutant power was to turn water into blank. All right. Mutant <laughs> with an unimpressive power turns water into blank. Some mutants have powers that, well, to be honest, aren't particularly impressive. Someone enrolled the other day whose mutant power was to turn water into... Well, I have this actual power myself. With the help of my sidekick, the refrigerator, I'll say ice. To turn water into ice. All right. Well, I mean, okay, well, no, Iceman just creates ice. He doesn't turn water into it. So, all right, water into ice. That's I can also do the reverse if I stare at it. Anyone with a freezer can do the same thing. 
Damon Williams, start us off. Well, being here in Atlanta, and uh, you can probably use your eyes with this, I picked Coke. <laughs> I don't know, I would love if that were my mutant power. <laughs> Amy, what have you got? And if you run out of Coke, you can always have some floor wax. Floor wax? <laughs> That's on, at least, on the rocks. That's at least useful, you know, if you plunk out of the academy. Uh, all right. Dave, we're looking for ice. Well, I missed breakfast this morning, so I'd like some toast. Toast? <laughs> you can be like, pound your toast, man! <laughs> um, I figured that the least impressive ability would be to turn water into Kool-Aid. <laughs> I see you're on, your, oh, you're, no. you're on the right track. It depends on who's serving the Kool-Aid. <laughs> you're, you're on the right track with the Kool-Aid. The first thing that came to my mind, of course, was water to wine, but only one guy could do that. So I thought anime fans, uh, why not turn water into ramen? <laughs> All right, last chance for ice. Country time ran on oh, ramen. Um, <laughs> little flavor crystals. No, so... Um, I'm in old school. I, I spent uh, way too much time as a, as a young teenager buying X-Men comics off the rack and reading X-Men comics. And the most useless thing that would, would be in a mutant power uh, for the period in which I was reading X-Men would be a chemical that keeps Kitty Pryde from reaching puberty. <laughs> if I know X-Men, like I know X-Men. So, she was everybody's little, little, uh, little girlfriend, right? She was created just to get the 13-year-olds reading X-Men go, Gosh, if only Katie Pride would be my girlfriend. <laughs> Dave, would you be on every anime match game going forward, please? No, this is this is dredging up horrifying memories of my youth. That I thought I had forever. Now, when I wrote well the suited for this, Dave. You're when I wrote right. the question, I thought the most useless mutant power would be to turn water into urine. <laughs> because we can all do that. <laughs> G-rated show. We're working oh, PG-13. PG-13. All right, so... This is, yeah, you have to say TT. TT, yes, TT. This okay. is G-rated. So, yes. Tinky. Make Tinky. All right, so... Uh, no score after the first round, which means that, uh, Laura, since you went first the last time, Michael, you get to go first this time. Would you like A or B? Take A. Take A. All right, once again, everybody plays. These will probably narrow it down a little bit more. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is something that I did not know. So something that I did not know until I wrote this question. <laughs> Great. Did you know that there is a whole season of Dragon Ball that never made it to air? <laughs> you know why? why? Would, you, would you like to know why? why? Please, tell us why. I'll tell you. It was because instead of Dragon Balls, Goku tried to collect blank balls. <laughs> Because it was a million episodes, because he'd always eat them before the end. Yes. All right, Vic. 
I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't even know that there were balls in Pokemon. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm, that's fine, it happens, right? Um, but uh, I was trying really hard. I'm trying to think like an anime fan, and I, I wanted to give you some points, so I said Rice Ball. Rice Balls. <laughs> All right. One more chance for Pokeballs. I wanted to find out, I was thinking about, you know, the characters are always, they're, they're, they're flying in the air and always glowing. There's a lot of glowing characters in the show. So I figured they'd be looking for balls of weapons grade plutonium. Is <laughs> <laughs> that help? Is that helpful? Uh, I would love to see that crossover because we could finally find something even uh, Metapod could beat. Really. <laughs> All right, so you got two, which means that Laura, you need two to tie and three to win, and everybody plays. And it goes a little something like this. Yeah. <laughs> Let me guess, you didn't know this until you wrote the question. I didn't want to know this after I wrote the question. <laughs> Luigi said... I'm not going to do his accent. Because I want them to understand what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Come on! I don't know what my brother's been up to in his spare time, but there's an awful lot of kids being born in the Mushroom Kingdom with a blank. I don't know what my brother's been up to in his spare time, but there's an awful lot of kids being born in the Mushroom Kingdom with a blank. Unwanted facial hair problem. With an unwanted facial hair problem, uh, which we will simplify to a mustache. Is what you're doing. Well, thanks for having me. I had a great time. <laughs> All right. Well, good night, everybody. everybody. You never know. All right. Do I get a version of the home game with a tiny little Vic in a box? Okay. <laughs> so two mustaches will tie. Three mustaches will win. David, we start with you. What are you offering? Uh, not a, a mustache. Sorry, I was. Turtle shell backs. With turtle shell. Wow! That's just all kinds of wrong. You're right. I think I need to go home and play Mario Brothers again. I said a gold coin. All right. I know that that hey, that'd be pretty oh, good. Gold you coins if you wanted. All right. Looking for a mustache, sir. Or to be money. Hey. Well, uh, an urgent need to run very quickly. Mustache. All right, there you go. All right, that's one. Need two more to win. I, I went with the fabulous mustache. All right, so one more mustache, and you have won the game. Vic Mignogna. Well, I'm thinking maybe he has a pit pit. No, of course not. Mustache! That is a win for Laura. What did you have, Dave? Dave, what did you have? Uh, I was going to go with fetal alcohol syndrome. That's not funny, but... I didn't know it was my All right, so congratulations, Laura. Uh, got to say goodbye to Michael, but we've got party this way, sir. Thank you very much for being on the match game. Let's spin him up. Spin these words to you, you two. Step two. Come and join me, Laura. And make sure you guys check out Facebook. Check out for Andocon. Woo! It's A-N-D-O-C-O-N. Check it out. You'll find out. All right. <laughs> All right. We're still rolling, right, Jeremy? So we can roll right into this because we've got about six minutes to wrap this up. All right. We're back here with the Big Money Super Match, Laura. We pulled everyone on the Facebook and we got their best response to this. Samurai Blank. All right. Once again, 500 yen for the top answer, 250 for the second, 100 for the third, 
Three celebrities can help you one at a time. The ones who are staring at you probably have an answer. How would... Dave, you, Dave, you've been chosen. Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. All right, likes that one. All right, Vic, have you got one, sir? Samurai Champloo. Samurai Champloo. Amy Howard Wilson, how would you fill in that blank? The third one's tough. Samurai Sword. Samurai Sword. All right, so you have Samurai Sword, Samurai Champloo, Samurai Jack. You can pick one of those or you can go out on your own. What do you think? Samurai Shampoo, going with Vic Mignogna's answer. All right. Let us see if that is up there, and if so, where first? May we see the 100 yen response. Samurai 7. Who had that in the audience? Oh, a few people. All right. Let's see what the 250 yen response was. Samurai Jack. Oh, there it was. All right. What do you think was under the 500 yen? We're looking for Shampoo. Let's see it. Yeah! Which means that the you, won, you won a thousand for the game, now you got another 500, which means the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or 5,000 yen. But it can be 10,000 if you get it in the little gold star area. So do just what Amanda did, go down there and take a nice head start so I can time it so that when you're doing the thing, so it looks authentic. Let's root for a double. That's okay, just run up and jump and don't touch the screen. That's a common you know problem that you know. with people who cosplay like that. is for 10,000 yen, and Dave Wilson III, it's yours. Dave, uh, yes, it is, uh, oh no, I'm sorry, that's Dave, it's Dave Merrill, that's right. Yeah, because it's not Dave III. You are actually in trouble. Oh. <laughs> this is why I'm Dave III here. Okay, okay that's right. Okay. One, two, three. So, and remember, remember Dave, you can have help from above or beyond if, uh, again, like David did, poll everybody and see, okay? On face you can't see what he's writing. This is for 10,000 yen. Soul blank. All right, soul blank. Don't say anything, audience, because you may be giving somebody an answer that might not match with what the other person was saying. Here we go. For 10,000 yen, how would you fill in that blank? Soul? Eater. All right, he says, she says that Soul Eater will match you for 10,000 yen. 10,000 yen, that's a lot of money these days, by the way. It is, that's 125 bucks. You can thank the National Bank of Japan for that. Uh-huh. Uh, I was gonna go with Soul Train, <laughs> right? But I did actually go Soul Eater. <laughs>